Hey guys, don't judge me. The boat is an absolute shit tip, but I'm making good progress. So I've run out of the uh, my strip wood that I used to fix units in, but I'll get some leader. But I'll just trim this down. Ah. So it's sat on there quite nicely. I've still got loads of you know the epoxy to do around smoothing it all off and all that good stuff. Um, what I'm gonna do before that is ooh, get the woodwork on where I'm gonna attach it to, give it a second coat of um, epoxy primer, and then I'll fix it on. But I'm I'm, ne I'm nearly done for the night now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just get some thick and epoxy and go around all the edges. Just getting it nice and fixed in along the back here. Nice big thick of uh, fillet of thick and epoxy, just to make sure it's all nice and solid. Ready to start fixing stuff in. But the uh, piece of resistance is doo -doo -doo -doo, the girls' room. So minus this bit because this is the I need to clean this up, start sanding it, and I'll get the girls to choose how they want it, colours and stuff. Um, the actual the beds are in. The spare drill bit. Headboards on. Headline ends up. And under there. Now this is a completely different room now. You know, this morning it was a building site. But well, yesterday morning it's a building site. And now, freshly painted, all the linings back in, mattresses is in. I've just gone and bought some uh, duvets and pillows. And what I do is when I get the girls tomorrow, We'll go somewhere and I'll get them to choose what bedding they want. Uh, and then do bay covers and stuff. But it's good. I've got one little problem, and that is the bow, starboard bow cleat, really noisy and creaky. And this is where the girls are going to be sleeping. So I might have to look at that tomorrow, work out why. I think I know why, but I can't physically feel it. Let me show you my nice new comfy mattress. So that is the bottom of the cleat. Very collapsed wood, rotten metal, very... Yeah. So I'm pretty sure if I take that all apart, redo it, re-epoxy it, re-drill it, re all that stuff, um, that will rectify it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started on that, but probably after this weekend, I'll probably take it off of that line and just hold it on the spring, um, and then using, using sort of tie it off on the port rather than the starboard. But I think that's why this this one's creaking so much. It's just that that really bad fitting there. So that'll all need redoing. But oh, I'll disconnect that tomorrow and retie the boat up so that it's not pulling on that corner. It should be uh, reasonably quiet for the girls in here to, to sleep. But compared to what this was a few days ago, oh, I'm so chuffed. And hopefully the girls will be too. And then once they've stayed for their night, I can then get on with, I'm gonna get them to choose what color paint they want for the strip there, strip there, and these little bits and pieces. I'll get this all sanded, get the, in the rest of here all painted get the surrounds on here done and get this all done and painted um, and it'll be it'll be their room you know I'll use it for storage and stuff when they're not here for sails or cushions for outside or whatever but it's not no longer going to be fiberglass stuff kept in there it's going to be the girls room but yeah just want to share that with you I'm now going to have a, a brief a brief look at sorting this out if you're wondering why I've got some Kingspan here, on the top of the dodger, on the lip, I wanted to put a raised, almost like handle strengthening piece and stop the water running off the back, so onto, onto, my, onto my face. Um, and this I had set up in the garage roof from when I was doing some insulation on my old Sunseeker. So I'm hoping, take the foil off one side, a little bit of curvature in it, I can use this and I can cut this rather than buying anything. So that's why that's here. Uh, yeah, so 
I'm gonna get to sorting out and uh, probably see you in the morning. Cheers, guys. Morning, guys. Uh, got back this morning. Uh, and what I've done is I've put a few little bits of trim in to fix the, the front panel on and a second coat of epoxy primer just to give it that final coverage. Um, so tomorrow, or maybe not tomorrow, I've got the girls. Maybe, maybe this evening, sort of last thing, I'll get some 2K in there, just get some nice tough, tough case on there. Now I pretty much put them, them lockers to bed until I get the frontage on. I've still got a lot of work to do in the front there. And I need to get the, the drainage and everything sorted out on the sink that'll come out down here. And then the taps is fine, so that'll all be here. So I've seen a few little bits put to bed and I need to try and get hold of some for mica. I was thinking about having just the finish that I've got here. There's a temporary finish, I just didn't get fiberglass in my hands. But nah, I'm gonna try and get the proper full mica stuff. The DIY stores near me don't have it, they've got sticky back plastic and sort of stuff that would fall to bits if you put a hot saucepan on it. Um so I'm just gonna have a look what I can find on online later. So it's somewhere to do list today. Um, the reason I've tuned in, apart from obviously painting and stuff, is going back many, 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 many videos ago, about a year ago. Um, there were some wooden poles, some sort of posts that went up here that were sort of to help you up and down the stairs. Uh, they were horrendous, they were held on with luck and they, 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 they snapped on me anyway. Um, so I've bought these since 32 mil sort of stripper poles that are going to go in and now the dodge is in you can go all the way up there all the way down so you've got full up and down on there now what i don't want is that where you know it's going to be a trip hazard and i don't want it to be in the way it's got to be an aid not in the way so to that end oops, that way i want it to start around here and run up and through through the line of the steps here uh, and then straight up so to do that I've got these end caps that can't come with it so that will go one on the ceiling and that will fix onto the ceiling and it's got the locking screw on there to lock the pole in place and then I need a bottom support so obviously because of the shape of the hull um, I've gone round the joys of sort of now living at a yacht club, there's tons of hard wood just dumped everywhere. This is this is this is scrap wood. That I've just got a bit chopped it up, and I'm now. This is. I've just done a first cut with a handsaw, just getting a rough sort of shape. So it needs a bit more, a bit more fettling. But, um, so the aim is, I'm going to get that sat level, and then just push that up against the hull. And all I'll do is once 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 i've got the shape right stick an epoxy stick it on there plenty of um i'll round these edges off with a flappy wheel i'll do plenty of filleting with thick and epoxy and then before it goes off i'll run a tab over the whole lot with sort of combination mat just so it's absolutely solid and that'll allow me then to screw another one of them end caps onto here and that pole isn't going anywhere that's the idea I want, you know, a 20 stone bloke to be able to sort of hang his body weight on it without it giving way. So, that's what I'm on at the minute. Uh, there's not a lot to film really. It's me struggling in the wind and hot weather outside, just hacking away at this, this hardwood, trying to get the right shape. Once I've got this right shape, I'm going to trim the ends of these off. Um, just a multi-tool, just chop the end off there. And then I'll, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'll, I'll film it when I've, when I've done it, but I'm going to make another block for the other side that will uh, fit on there. Um, yeah, because the kids are down, I said before, I've got the kids down tomorrow evening, uh, and I've got them tomorrow night, Saturday. So I just want to make the boat as safe as possible, so some hand rails and then they just move around. Um, I'm, I'm used to sort of moving around the boat like a monkey, um, obviously they're not. So I need to make it as, as safe for them as possible. But that's what I'm getting on with now. I'll speak to you in a bit. Ciao. No, now it's special. This one's got a little bit of fillet on it. I've got excess epoxy on. But 
The main aim, what I'm doing now, is just to hold it in place, actually let it on, and then I, then I can get on and do the filleting. So there's areas that aren't filleted, but I'm, I don't want to push, keep pushing it around, messing it around. I just want it on there, set, and then I'll come on and I'll put some thicker fillets on, um, and then I'll, I'll tab it in as well, make it uber solid that you can uh, hang, a, hang a grown man on it. And down there, just the same. So just a block, just epoxied on, and then when it's gone off, I can start messing around, putting putting heavier fillets and tabs on, and then we can have some some stripper poles in. Woo! All right, that's um that's me dumping now. I need to go and look at a friend's car, uh, and when I get back, I'll just continue doing stuff. Hopefully, by the time I get back in a couple of hours, I know thick and pots take long enough to go off, but. If it's strong enough to hold it, not not be full strength, but just, just to hold it, then I can carry on, you know, filleting and tabbing. But we'll see when I get back. Um, yeah, speak to you in a bit. Go on. Hey guys, I'm quite bad. I've been quite bad at getting sort of action footage. So um, I thought I'd catch a bit. Try not to get epoxy all over my uh, Okay, so. Filled is still quite, still quite wet. It's very wet on there. Um, so I've got two layers of um, combination matting. One small, one a little bit bigger. Not a huge amount of difference between them. Just a little bit. What I'll do on the uh, on the black plastic mat, my carpet protector stuff that I use for for everything. Going to wet out the CSM side. I know the ultimate way to do epoxying is, you know, weigh it all out and all that stuff, but I haven't got time for that. So I'm going to do the that side now. I'll do the. Um, Oh, I made a couple of incisions to help it do this. about that banging noise I've decided to do it over one of the um, access hatches into the bilge really handy 
and I'm banging at it with a paintbrush. decisions on this one. Try and keep this um, as tidy as I can. Less sanding and fixing when it's set. But as I, I'm still reasonably new at this, the chances of me doing it without requiring sanding and filling in everything afterwards pretty slim. Something like that. Just look here. Just contact all the way through both layers on all the edges, all the sides and all the wings are all in in contact. Just gonna take this glove off so I can turn my uh, my camera off. That should be pretty damn solid. It's the same the other side. I would show you, but I've got too much stuff in the way to step over. I'm going to break my neck trying to show you. But when it's when they've gone off later, we'll have another look. We'll give her a little sand uh, if needs be, sort of bit of fairing or whatever it is, just to just to make it a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, should be good to go to get some stripper poles in. Woohoo! Morning, guys. Um, so that's all went off last night nicely, the, uh, the, the, the feet as such. So, so that's not fixed and they're just sort of rested in. But that's going to make life so much easier getting up and down the stairs. Especially for when I've got little people on the boat. Just a bit, a bit of extra um, security and safeness. So I've got two of the feet. Because initially I was going to have two at the top. Like one there, one there and then sort of do some random sort of glass it in at the bottom. But now I've done this design, I need to go and buy another two new feet. So hopefully, as I bought them, I can't get two months ago, are they still available? So I'll find the two that I have got, get their measurements and the, the, the make and design, go and get them. Um, and what I'm gonna do, the base one, because it's got a nice solid bit of hardwood, it would just be three screws holding the sort of foot plate onto that. With this one, because it's the foam's sort of only that thick, and I can't have sort of substantial screws into there, 
I'm going to epoxy it on. So I'll I'll get the lo exact location. I get I'm going to get it all leveled up and stuff uh, while the boat's afloat. Get it leveled. Um, thicken epoxy, splooge it on. Have the three screw short screws just for alignment and holding it up against tight against glass. And then let it go off. Once you do that, both sides. And this bottom one here will just be skewed, um, screwed in. Um, yeah, and that should hold it nicely then. Epoxy is amazing for everything, so the, it, it just fixes everything. But yeah, so I'm gonna get on with that. Um, yeah, and I'll tune back in a little while. I need to go back to my house in Bognor, um, and sort out my shed and basically all my belongings are in the garage, so I need to go through all that. Um, yeah, and I'll tune back in later once I've got the bits that I need and I'll, and I'll get a level as well. So otherwise, I'd, otherwise I'd epoxy in the bases now, but I can't because I haven't got a level here. So I'm just going to get a level. Hopefully, get these set ready for picking up the gills this afternoon, and it'll be a nice, safe sort of handles to go up and down the stairs. And then I need to go and buy them some bedding. I've got the duvets and the pillows and stuff. I'm just going to get them to go and choose their what sheets they want and duvet covers and everything and then what we're going to do on the Saturday morning I'm going to get them to go and choose the fabric they want and we're going to make their curtains and everything so next time they stay it'll be fully curtained up personalised work out what colour woodwork they want all that good stuff but yeah that's all to come that's all to come oh, speak to you a bit hey guys very quick sign off for go and get the kids um so my my stripper poles are in. It's fixed down there onto the post. Epoxy on it. And up here I've filled around the sort of the void to keep it level. So I've packed that with epoxy. That's not gone off yet, that's still drying. When it's gone off I'll tighten up a little bit more, put the set screws in, and that's good to go. This one I haven't put the screws in yet. Um, just because it was, it was proper stuck in place um, under its own weight, so I've just got one screw holding it. The other two screws I'll, I'll drill and put in um, once it's set. And then down here, same detail, excess stick and epoxy. I'll just put around the edge. I'll sand it all down and get that painted up in the in the not too distant future. That's the girls' room, good to go. They're all fresh pillows, fresh. Um, uh, bloody old duvets and stuff. I just go and buy their duvet covers and sheet covers. Um, and we should be good to go. I'm only going to put the gills up in a minute. We've had a bit of a tidy up to make the boat sort of transitable. So it's still full of tools and crap and epoxies down there and different boat building stuff. And then here just stacked up with everything else. So it's a little bit of carnage. I've just got a load of more. It's got a load more stuff in the house, which is even got more stuff on the boat. But over time, I'll go through it and then sort of sort it out into my my liverboard lifestyle compared to a four bedroom house lifestyle, and then bin what I don't need or sell or whatever it is. But um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If the girls are feel like tuning in later with them, um, if not, uh, have a great week, and I'll uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.